Hello, welcome to another episode of Cripple Bytes. In this short video, we're going to demonstrate how easy it is to onboard WinLog Beats data, specifically Windows events, from Windows into Cripple Stream. I'm using the cloud environment here. You're welcome to use a standalone as well. It should be very apparent how to do that in just a moment. So in the cloud, I'm going to start in network settings. It gives me a list of all the ports and, and uh, sources that we've got predefined. One of those is Elastic. So there's an inelastic line here. Uh, we can copy that information. We're going to need that in just a moment. I can also copy or click on this link here to get into the settings. So this is what you'd see if you weren't in the cloud and, and running in a self-managed environment, whether that's in your own cloud or on-prem. Uh, nothing special here. These are the default settings. Key though, once I have these set up uh, and running, I want to capture live data. So at this point, there's no data being delivered to us. Uh, this is empty, but let's change that. So in my Windows environment here, uh, you can see the URL I'm at to download the zip file, which I've already done. So I'm going to just minimize that. We're going to extract that download. And we'll pop into that directory. I want to edit the config file. I'm going to delete what they have by default and show you the stripped down version. So we've specified our sources. We've got the three different Windows event collections, application, system, and security. We have our output definition. So this is where that host name goes, or if there are multiple host names, you'd separate these here by commas. So I could put another one after there. We're just going to have the one for our use case in the cloud with the port. Uh, very important to specify that we're allowing older versions. Allow older versions is true. Protocol TLS is enabled in the cloud installation, so uh, that's going to be the setting we want. Finally, if I were rolling this out into production, absolutely I'd want to have some sort of authentication in place. For this use case, no authentication. We're just delivering right to it. Um, anybody could do it. So I'm going to save that file and close it. Hop into a command line. Let's go to desktop, win, win. Now in here, if you were setting this up for a production environment, absolutely, you'd want to install it as a service. So it starts automatically and it's managed by the system services. In this case, we're just testing it out, making sure our plumbing's working. So I'm just going to run it on the command line here, win event winlogbeat.exe minus c winlogbeat.yaml. Now it's running. If I switch back to my Cribble installation, you can see that live data is now filled with event logs. So we are successfully reading and processing event logs. And now I can use a standard Cribble tool set, whether that's routing or enrichment, filtering, whatever it is I need to do with the data. Now I can do that and, and send it along to the destination. I hope that helps you out. We'll talk to you next time.